Let's make a quick stylized cobblestone. We're starting with the cells four and then we zoom that into our likings. This goes into an edge detect, running through a slope blur set to min and with a soft noise to eat into the initial shape. This gets beveled, set to full, and then auto leveled to claw back that full range of value. We need to get rid of the jaggies along the bevel, so we use a low intensity blur and then flatten the tops by pulling the whites back on a level. Next, we're making a mask for our flood fills. I like to use curvature for this to keep it tight, so we take it into a normal map and then a curvature and lastly a histogram scan to isolate the cavities between the shapes. All right, flood fills. We're gonna make a flood fill to gradient, randomize those angles, and then close up the space between by running it through the source of a distance node and plugging whatever mask went into the flood fill into the mask input of that distance and setting it to full and only source. We can then scan that and blend it back onto our cobble using a min blending mode in order to slice some edges off. We're gonna then duplicate that chain as many times as we want, changing the seed value on the random gradient nodes to create additional slices and put those all in sequence one after another. We want to create some general slopes on those cells, so we make yet another flood fill to random gradient and then multiply it over top straight up. To vary these slope intensities up, we can plug a flood fill to random grayscale into the mask input of that blend. To create some additional plane changes, we can take a cells 1 and subtract it from the height map. We can put some little pits in by taking a clouds 1, blurring it slightly and scanning it to get some higher frequencies and then subtracting it from the height map. We have these jaggy artifacts along the edge where the height map jumps values suddenly. We can soften these by using an inverted cavity map from our flood fill earlier and use it as a mask in a non-uniform blur set to a low intensity. To do some quick grout, we can take something like a moisture noise and max that against our cobblestones. A histogram range is useful here to tune the overall height of the grout and to lower the contrast between the lowest and highest points of the map. It's nice to have this control on a single node and it's a great candidate to be exposed to the parent graph as an exposed parameter. Now we have a nice, simple height map to jump into color. Be sure to subscribe for more Substance Designer tutorials.